Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I will discuss the solution to the problem occurrence of an integer in a linked list. So in this problem, you will be given a head of a single linked list and uh, an integer key and you need to count the number of occurrences of the given key in the linked list. So for this particular example, the key is 1 and here the occurrence of 1 in this linked list is 4. So that's why the expected output here is 4. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So this is a fairly easy problem and can be solved in a linear time just to traverse over the linked list and once you get the node whose value is equals to key then increment your count. So let me just quickly write a pseudo code and uh, consider this linked list with the key 2 that is we have to count the occurrence of 2 in this linked list. So I will initialize my count with 0 that is occurrence of key and then I, I can just copy this uh, head head pointer variable so let's say current is equals to head then while current not equals to null because once it is equal to null then we don't have any other node to process so then I will check if current arrow data is equals to key that is, if this current node has value key, then I will increment my count. Then count plus plus. And uh, after this, take me to the next node for the next iteration. So current is equals to current arrow next. And uh, finally, what I can do, I can just simply return my, my answer, which is count. So return count. So this is the complete approach and uh, how much time will it take? So the time complexity here is linear as we are visiting each and uh, every node of the linked list exactly one time and uh, the extra space is constant. Cool. So let me just show you the implementation. So this is the method that you have to complete and uh, here I have uh, created this uh, current pointer variable and initializing this variable with head then count is equals to 0 then while current not equals to null if the current data is equals to key then increment the value of count and then take me to the next node cool and finally I am returning this count so let's just try to submit this and successfully submitted so thank you so much guys for watching this video and have a good day